Today we're going to talk about the steps to get your piece that's bisque fired. You remember right with the, the ringing sound that has been fired the first time. We're going to get it ready to put the layer of the glaze on it. So there's a handout that's, that's going to have these steps, but this video is to correspond with that in case you need the visual and the handout. So the first thing you want to do once you find your piece that's yours with your signature is wash it off really quick in water. And that gets any dust off of it. The dust will leave bald spots when you glaze the piece. So this is our wax or wax resist and you're going to wax the bottom of your piece and you're going to go up about an eighth of an inch and normally you would be getting three or four of your bisque pieces ready in a glaze session. That way you don't go back and forth as much. So I'm going to go ahead and wax also the interior that way my name doesn't disappear. Though, so if you have a deep enough foot, you might not need to do that. As soon as you're done with the wax, go ahead and seal it back up so it doesn't dry out. And then wash off the brush with warm water so we don't ruin our brush. And then we put it away. And then you got to wait for the wax to dry. So once the piece is dry, uh, right now the piece that I painted is still not dry. But I painted one earlier. You can see that the color has changed on the wax. It's dry now it, and it's ready for dipping. So you go to the bucket and you pick the color and the name is on the front of the bucket and on the side. So I'm going to use a clear on this because if you remember this piece, this was a demo piece that I did the slips on. So I want my decoration to show up. So I'm just going to put it in a clear. I'm going to take one of our stirring sticks and just stir this up. But as soon as you're done stirring, You want to grab your glaze tongs, grab the piece, uh, usually about two inches down, not the rim because you can break through if you squeeze too hard. Then you just dip in and out and you shake it and we put it down, we'll wipe that down later. And once it's dry, we, then we go to the next step. So once the piece has the glaze dry on it, the bottom where the wax is, you still need to wipe clean. So that way, any excess of glaze that's on there, when it melts in the fire, won't get your piece stuck to the shelf. Once you have that wiped off and it's clean, then we're going to take it to the corresponding shelving unit that will tell you where we're looking to put our Cone 8 high fire pieces. So here are the examples of the different glazes that are in the buckets for Ceramics 1, which are our Cone 8 glazes. Now the slips you're working with, you're going to use the clear like I just demoed with. But we have a multitude of other colors that are in the shop glazes. So we have from browns to blacks to mattes to glossy. And as we go through the semester, you're going to learn more about all the different colors and all the different opportunities and all the different options you have with the glazes.